Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of New Star Soccer 5. We're going to continue directly, we're going to go to... Oops, so I spawn... <laughs> I wrote some sponsorship deal again without even noticing, okay. That's a good start I guess, he has to write whatever they give me. Or sign, I don't even care. There we go. Let's do this shit, yeah. Um, kind of funny actually, today. It's a couple of days ago, once you're seeing this as usual. Uh, but I reached 666 subscribers and that's a special number if you ask me at least I think it's funny. I mean, maybe it was the devil himself who's like Yeah This dude seems he seems all right. Yeah, let's subscribe Yeah, Or maybe it was just you know some kind of normal person that might happen as well. I don't know. It's fun Neither the less. Did you say neither the less? I don't know. I've never learned that the difference between neither or neither. I guess. Oh shit, one of them must be completely wrong. Both can't be right. Unless, I don't know, unless you're from. <laughs> maybe if you're from. Maybe you say neither? And then if you're from New Zealand, you say neither. Because you know they usually say things with an E instead of an I. I don't know. Well. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter too much though, you know what I mean. Could have been worse. Oh shit. Poor running, fuck you. Anyway, I have some things to talk about today, I think at least. I haven't really thought about them, but um, I can always come up with things. Oof. Yeah, first of all, as I said, 666 subscribers. That's oops, good if I can get this ball and, you know, outrun my opponent somehow. And preferably, oh shit, I should be running towards the goal, but I didn't do that that time, and when I tried it, go went to hell, basically, yeah. Um, but there's not much I can say, but 666, eh, well, it's a fun number, I didn't sell my soul to get that last one subscriber, though. But hopefully we can leave this devilish number soon enough, before, you know, any uber-Christian subscribers find out and unsubscribe, I don't know. I don't think I have any of those though, hopefully. I guess they are too Christian to even watch YouTube. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe because I swear too much, they're like, who the... They can't even say fuck. I was about to say who the fuck is this guy, but what the hell do they say? I said what the hell. Now they like me even less. Oh shit. Yeah, that was God. He, he decided I was going to, you know, Letting a go just because I swear, did a swear word, yeah. Mm. And I'm drinking coffee. Believe it or not, when coffee co came to Europe in, was it like 800 years ago or something like that? When the Pope, the cup, you know, people started drinking the coffee and the Pope was to examine it. And then he looked down to a cup of coffee and he saw the face of the devil in it. So he banned it from the Christian world, basically. And if you think about coffee, it's kind of fun, actually. I tried to look down into my cup once I was saying that, but if you look into a cup of dark coffee, then you see your own face. So basically, he saw his own face, thought that it was the devil, and he decided to banish it. Yeah, but people continue to drink it anyway, because coffee's fucking nice. Yeah, if you haven't drunk coffee, do it. Start off with some milk and sugar. You can have both in the beginning. No one will blame you. Then after a while, if you think that it's too sweet, then you can, you know, move away from the from the sugar. If you want to, you can have both still if you want to as well, or no milk. It's up to you. Oof. But um, yeah, right now I'm drinking coffee with only milk in it, and that's kind of I found my call, whatever you say. Uh, a little bit of milk in the top to basically make it a little less hot and a little less, I don't know. A little more, I don't know what to call it, but it, it tastes good as, as a, at least, yeah. Ugh. I don't know why I almost burped there, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but coffee, the Pope didn't like it. Yeah. What the hell was I thinking about? I was thinking about the Sheriff in the, the Rockin' the Casper song. The Pope doesn't like it, Rockin' the Casper, that didn't work really. No, it didn't. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't know what to say. The Pope didn't like it. Drinking the coffee. Drinking the coffee. Yeah. 
That's how you say it. That's great. Anyway, I was about to, to talk about other stuff as well. I was thinking about the Czech Republic. By the way, Sweden is playing against Switzerland in the in the um, Olympic Games today. And oops, oh, <laughs> yeah. And as I said, um, in a couple of episodes ago, we just took a silver in the Olympic Games or some silvers. Nice goal, actually. And then after that, a couple of episodes later, I was like, yeah, and we kept on taking silvers. And today we took even more silvers. God damn it! Now we have like six or seven silvers, three or four bronzes, and zero gold medals. That's fucking shit. Yeah, I mean, you, of course, you should be happy if you get a silver, but not during the games. What the hell was this when did they do three goals? I don't know. Hmm. I think I need to shape up the last minutes now. But anyway, we keep on taking silvers, no other medals, which is shit. Yeah, and even the Norwegian crown prince, or whatever you call it, you know, the legal heir, he who is going to become the king of Norway. Um, both our, you know, royal houses, they like sports a lot, so our king, he's like, Oh, yes, another medal, that's great, sort of, maybe. Um, <laughs> and then the the legal heir of Norway, I think it's Prince Hakon, or something like that. Shit, what if we don't win this game? That can't be good. He's like, okay, Swedish, how many gold medals have you taken now? Maybe I've said that before, but... It's still, still a really valid thing to say. So fuck him, basically. No, I can't say fuck him to a, to a goddamn royal person. Um, bugger off. Might be better. Bugger off to him. Oh, we won't win this game. That's weird, actually. Hmm. That's an odd situation to be in. Let's drink some coffee. Yeah. That's shit. Well, um. Hopefully we will get some gold medals. Sure. Let's go. No, let's. Yeah, let's go horse racing. Um, as I said, we set our hopes to the hockey team and the curling teams most of all. At least we can say that we can take gold medals in the what do you call it? Team sports in which you need to be a team. Norway they only take medals in the individual sports. Fucking losers or in the. What do you call it? Individualists? Yeah! But you know, I don't... I'm not feeling bad for them. I mean, it's good that they take some medals as well. They usually do, so... Things are as usual. Yeah. Uh, but I would... I would enjoy if they could just, you know, stop skiing so that we can take some gold medals in the skiing at least. Yeah. Because right now it's either the Norwegians or... Fucking Kvalchuk or Colonia, always the first. And then there's a Swede second, like, oh, I took a medal! <laughs> That's great! Yeah. Shit, basically. They say great, but they mean shit. Um, yeah, let's move on now. So we're going to play Hannover. That's good. Hannover might be a nice team to meet. I don't know. I haven't met them. I did meet, let's see, some... I actually, when I played Gotia Cup um, many years ago, we did meet some German team. I can't remember the name. But we, I have met a German team, actually. Yeah, we... I think we draw, actually, that game. Yeah, we should have won, but we played a draw instead. Which was... Yeah. Could have been better. Could have, to say the least, yeah. But we actually went to the 16th finals, or whatever you call it. Um, two steps before the quarterfinals, so we were basically top 40 out of over 400 teams, which is good. And we should have won that, you know, that um, game as well. The referees were, <coughs> they were rankers. Yeah, actually, against the German team, I mean, shit happens. Maybe we shouldn't have won that game, but against... We met BK Hecken, fucking Gothenburg team with the fucking Hemmadumare. Yeah, you know, a, a referee who was from Gothenburg as well. Uh, so he's like standing next to their coaches and joking before the game. And yeah, we should have won that game. We didn't though. 
Um, I guess we have ourselves to blame that we didn't manage to score any goals. We lost it with 1 2 0. Yeah, 1 2 0. 1 0. Yeah, they scored one goal, we scored zero. But we had like four or five really, really good chances. And we shouldn't have let in that goal either. So, I mean, we have ourselves to blame basically. But yeah, Hecken, they actually made it to the quarterfinals. So we. We might have made it to the quarterfinals if we if we would have won that game. I mean, we were never the best team in <laughs> in the world or in Sweden or in Stockholm either. Even, but I mean, we did play, you know, our pig football or whatever you call it. Yeah, we played very simple football and we did it well. So yeah, many balls, you know, not long balls, but we played very much along the sides of the pitch. Um, so that the what do you call it left and right midfielders and the left and right defenders they had to run a lot and they did because they liked it and they did well and yeah uh, we did that really well so yeah mm. yeah we, we actually oops we performed over our capacity I dare to say yeah um, so that was nice actually except for that yeah, I mean, damn, I played a lot of cups when I was younger. That was nice. That was really nice. You gotta enjoy the cups. That's like half of the football, at least during the summers. Yeah. Yeah! Which is great. Um, except for that, what do I need to talk about today? I need to talk about the Czech Republic. Because I'm that kind of person who's like, damn, why the hell should I do this? I didn't really like to work, I did it anyway. Now I'm studying, I don't really like to do it, but I'm doing it anyway. And a friend's like, hey, let's move to Prague, or Prague, Praha, whatever you call it in English. Prague, Praha, Prague, Prague maybe is the correct word. Um, and I'm like, yeah, sure. I don't know if she joked or not, but I guess we'll see. Maybe in the future I'll move to, to the Czech Republic. Yeah. So what do you say about that? Oh, what a goal that could have been! Damn. Imagine me in Czech Republic. A lot of beer. Yeah! Live simple. Live extremely cheap. Yeah, since it's expensive to live in Sweden. Yeah! Compared to, to Eastern Europe at least. So I can move there. Live cheap. Like a bohem. Do you say bohemian? Like in the Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah. I guess I can live like a Bohemian in, you know, in two ways. Not only one way, but you know, in. in what's that? Double Merkelsen in Swedish. I don't know what it is in, in English, but you know. Basically, in, in two ways. Because the Bohemians, they are from from uh, the Czech Republic slash Hungary. I think at least. It's from that area at least. Yeah, Berman or Bohemian. It's an area. I think this actually makes up three fourths of, of the Czech Republic or something. So I can live like a bohem, and I can also live like a bohem. Yeah. And if you if you have a bohemian lifestyle, um, you live very very cheaply. Yeah, you don't waste much. Oh, what a goal! Yeah. Um, you don't spend much. You don't earn much. You just live like an artist, basically. You rent a studio. You know, the sheep you can find. You are staying there, you read books, you paint, play video games all day long. You don't really spend much on clothes or anything, or food, or drink, or, yeah, you know, anything. You just, you're there. Yeah. You're queer. No, maybe you're not. But, um, that would be nice. Living, living like that. In Czech Republic. I mean, I have some spare coins, so... I can live like that for a while. That would be nice. Yeah! Maybe I can be a professional YouTuber or maybe I can, you know, become a writer, an author or something like that. I don't know. That'd be fucking sweet though, I must say. Yeah! I'm going to the Czech Republic. Drink a lot of sheep beer. Mmm! -hmm. Live sheep. Have fun. Yeah, that would be a philosophy, wouldn't it? Yeah! I would enjoy that. I guess I would actually. I mean, it would be better than just living in fucking Sweden. Expensive, boring, boring weather. 
boring. Everything's so boring. Yeah. Why not? One of these days. I'm telling you, one of these days. I'll go there. Wee. <laughs> oh. Yeah. For sure. Um. So. What to say? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it might be might be an idea. Might think about it. Except for that, though. Yeah, I mean, Czech Republic. They have a lot of nice things. It seems like a very relaxed country as well. So if you're from the Czech Republic, yeah, that's perfect, I guess. And it's not a too big country, so you can live in maybe Prague. And then you can go to the mountains and ski or you know wander around or something. Oh. Maybe I can move. I don't know. Oh. Let's see if I can. Hmm. Um. Let's see. I earn 264,000 right now. Oh, come on. Fuck you, boss. Fuck are you, boss. When can I renew it? I don't know. I don't care right now. I earn enough as, as it is. Shop, I can actually buy the mansion. I'll do that the next episode, yeah. Right now, let's play a third game against Fortuna. Yeah, that's a nice one. Fru Fortuna. Let's do this. Let's play against them, yeah. If I wouldn't move to Czech Republic, where would I move then? I don't know, maybe England? Nah, I mean, I've heard that it just rains in England, especially now with all the storms going on. It's raining everywhere. I heard that your your country is soon like Atlantis. It rain away into the fucking ocean. Damn, at least coastlines. Yeah! I feel a little bit sorry for you, actually, if you live in Plymouth or any, anywhere near that area. Yeah, um, <laughs> I've heard, I've seen the pictures. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here in Stockholm, it's like, oh, there's a storm coming, oh dear, we might get a couple of centimeters of rain, in worst case scenario. Oh no! Meanwhile, in England, it's like, we're blowing away, we can't make it, no! Yeah, and the military is going on, it's like, shit, we need to save our people, by putting out sandbags everywhere. Yeah. And here's like, hmm, maybe there will be a little puddle next to the road. Oh dear. Yeah. So, yeah. Poor British people. <laughs> For real, this time. I mean, one storm is enough, but I heard that another one's coming. It, I kind of like storms though, but I guess if you, if you live in Britain, then I guess you're kind of tired of it right now. Yeah. If you live in Britain, how is it in your town? I don't know where my subscribers live. I know that I have a lot of them from Great Britain. I know that the most viewed countries during the last couple of months is actually Great Britain. So where in Britain do you live? Is it London? Northern parts? Southern parts? Do you live in fucking Plymouth or anywhere where it rains a shit ton? I don't know. <laughs> yeah! Maybe you live in fucking Liverpool. Yeah, you were going to watch Everton but the game was cancelled or something. Poor, poor, poor you. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, um... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it would be nice to hear in which city you live in, because as I said, if you watch the latest, you know, my subscribers or my YouTube statistics video, I have over 100 subscribers from both England and America, or USA, so... It would be nice to, to hear, I promise you. Which city, yeah, and how much rain you've gotten, and if your house has rained away yet, or if you live up on a hill or something, because if you live up on a hill, then you're a smart person. That's what you should do. You should always, if you are going to start up a new town or society or something like that, build it next to a river, but up in the hills. Yes. Unless it's two steep hills, then you have to watch out for, you know, earthquake and, and you know, the earth actually rolling down like a earth lavine or whatever you call it yeah! but if you live too close to the river then you might get you know uh, floods and everything yeah or you can live close to the beach but up in the mountains 
that's also something you can live next to the cliffs of Dover I guess your <laughs> house won't you know rain away if you live up on the cliffs near Dover that's some fucking nice cliffs though I must say they look sweet yeah I've seen pictures and never been there but I've seen the pictures it seems nice and I've heard the, the song by that dude I can't remember his name but he made a song named Cliffs of Dover yeah that's the song fucking nice I think it was Eric something not Clapton but Eric I can't remember but you know go to YouTube if you want to learn a sweet guitar song sweetest yeah go to YouTube Google Cliffs of Dover and then you must find that song yeah it's actually really really sweet I really really enjoy that song yeah except no no except no exceptions I do like it a lot yes um, and as I said if you play guitar if you want a song to learn that you you know want to have as a, as a use some kind of a milestone you know I want to learn this song then learn that song it will help you out in many ways you'll fucking enjoy it as well it's, it's one of those songs that you you won't really get tired of either so can I score a free kick goal here that'd be kind of amazing actually nope <laughs> better luck next time I guess yeah here we go hopefully we can score at least one more goal I want to do that in this game and then we might be done with for today actually yeah oops three games and one horse race that's about enough I mean I get 20 to 25 minutes of footage I guess that that's enough for you 30 minutes seems kind of a little bit too much actually but 20 minutes seems a little bit, bit too little as well yeah so close to 25 might be the optimal thing the Optimus pride I don't know what he has to do with this crap but yeah um whoop. oh shit okay that's kind of the worst commentary there is if I just run around watching the other players and say oh oh shit whoops oh oh yeah oh 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 uh, yeah I might stop it now um yeah oh yeah uh, it's uh, acceptable if I have the ball myself then I can do how much I want oh wait Oh, 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 it, oh, nah, I won't do that. Oh, shit. See what happens when I don't, though. I need to say it to perform well. God damn this. Oops. I thought it was going to pass the ball, but I nearly slide tackled. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah, I will in the future. Ah, but we're going to win this one at least. That's good. We're winning all. We actually did not win the first game. Was it Hoffenheim? Well done, Hoffenheim. Now I need to kill your entire team. Yeah. Watch it. I'm coming for you. Yeah. That might have sounded weird because I I leant or I leaned closer to the microphone or something. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. As I said, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of New Star Soccer 5. Can I actually do some more horse racing before we finish this off? Uh, we can. Let's do another horse race. Uh, and then we will finish this off. Spaghetti Forgetti, you need to win this one. You need to fucking win this. Yeah, you need to. I need the money. Oh shit, he ain't going to win this crap. Who the hell is that horse? I don't know, I need to buy it now just because it won. God damn it. Okay, 25k at least. That's not too bad. My stable. Maxi driver. 5k race. Yes. I basically spent 10k on this run and he's going to win. That's nice. So I will basically gain about $90,000 or something. I spent 10k and I won 55 plus 50, I guess it is. Yeah, 95, so I basically earned 85k on this on this run. That's good. So, thank you for watching. I'm actually over 10 million once again. Yes! Can I... No, I don't want to purchase another fucking ski chalet. Can't I sell these ones? 
as silly. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully I see you all around the next time. Have a great time. Until then, goodbye.